Welcome to Mac and PC Prime video. Today, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a completely free and open source download manager for Windows. This tool helps you download large files quickly and efficiently. We'll take a look at the basic user interface and I'll show you how. This download manager offers browser extensions for Firefox and Chrome, making it easy to capture downloads directly from your browser. We'll also compare this tool to the popular Internet Download Manager, IDM, to see the download speeds of both managers. So let's get started. First, download this incredible AB Download Manager by searching for its name on Google. Alternatively, you can check the description box for a link to the official website. Once you're on the official site, you can read all the information provided by the developer. I encourage you to review this information before using the tool. If you want to check the source code, simply click the GitHub button. Then, to download the tool. Return to the official website and click on the Get App option. Download the install a zip file and install the application as you normally would. I'll fast forward through the installation process to save you time. Next, we need to install the browser extension so it can capture downloads and transfer them to the download manager. Google Chrome or a Chromium based browser, select the Chrome extension option. On the app interface, you'll see the download file types on the left in the toolbar. There are several useful options like add URL, resume, pause, and start over. You'll also find menu options to explore. Now let's test this tool by downloading the AnyDesk as a remote desktop application, website, and team viewer. As you can see, the download speed is decent. The free download manager is only 10 seconds behind IDM, showing that the speed and performance are quite similar. So you get the idea, right? In my opinion, AB Download Manager is an excellent free alternative to IDM. If you can't afford IDM, this download manager is definitely worth using. That's all for today's video. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more useful tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.